And yes, this might be one of the weirdest shirts I've ever worn. It even has thumb holes, which I, I don't know how I feel about that. But that is okay because I am weird. I guess I basically invented the word, didn't I? All right, guys, as you can tell by the title of today's video, today I'm going to be talking about some very dark, creepy episodes of kid shows that actually aired. So this is different than a Lost Episodes video because Lost Episodes are sort of conspiracies, legends, creepy pastas. You're not sure if they're real or not. The ones I'm talking about today are real. They did air and you may have seen them as a kid. Most of these shows are from the early 2000s. So if you're one of my younger viewers, you might be Jesse. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I watched every single one of these shows. So doing research was hard. All right, so before I get into today's video, I'm gonna give you one last reminder about the Valentine's Day mystery boxes. These boxes are so cool and I'm so excited to have them out to you guys. If you would like one, I have linked it down below. It's just full of really awesome Valentine's Day sort of things. If you guys would like one before they sell out, I have linked it down below. All right guys, let's get right into today's video. The first show I'm gonna be talking about is Rugrats and there was an episode called Angelica's Worst Nightmare. Now if you didn't know, Rugrats visualizes ordinary everyday activities through the eyes of a group of toddlers. I used to love this show as a kid but I do remember there being a lot of scary episodes. I have no idea why. But like I said, there was this episode that came out called Angelica's Worst Nightmare and it's where Angelica, who is an only child, she's super spoiled, her parents tell her that they're gonna be having another baby. And she's not very happy about this news because she realizes that she will no longer be the center of their attention. Her parents start ignoring her while they're discussing the pregnancy and Angelica begins to worry that they won't have time for her anymore. So she goes to her mother and asks her not to have the baby. Her mother laughs it off and she just storms up to her bed and goes to sleep. In a nightmare that she has, Angelica's baby brother has arrived and her parents have forgotten who she is. So she's sent to live in the laundry room and eat table scraps while her brother is given her room and all of her toys. Then the baby suddenly grows into this gigantic monster and chases Angelica out of the house and down the road. So she tries to leave and drive away in her family's car, but then the baby catches her, picks up the car and starts to eat it, which causes her to wake up from her nightmare screaming. Later on, Angelica's parents tell her that they're not gonna be having the baby anymore, so it's assumed that it was a miscarriage or a false positive. And so she fakes being disappointed, but she's actually super happy inside, so. I don't remember seeing this episode as a kid, but I was looking at the screenshots and that's terrifying. Why would you put that in a kid show? If you've seen that episode, comment down below. Next we have SpongeBob SquarePants, which I know all of you guys know, even if you haven't seen the show, you know who SpongeBob is. There was an episode called The Nasty Patty. When a health inspector unexpectedly shows up at the Krusty Krab and demands one of everything on the menu, SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs become incredibly suspicious of him because they hear this news report about a con artist that goes to restaurants pretending to be a health inspector just so they can eat all of the food for free. So in retaliation, they concoct a disgusting a nasty patty for the inspector containing all sorts of vile ingredients and he ends up choking on a fly and passing out but Spongebob and Mr. Krabs start panicking thinking they actually killed this inspector with the nasty patty that they created. So for the rest of the episode they try to dispose of the body in various ways and when the health inspector starts to wake up as they bury him alive they accidentally knock him out again because they don't realize that he's not actually dead. <laughs> While they have his body, police officers come by and offer them a ride back to the Krabby Patty. So they put the body in the trunk, get driven there by the police. Then SpongeBob tries to put him into the freezer. But then because the guy isn't dead, he like walks out of the freezer back into the restaurant and the police beat the tar out of him because they think he's a zombie. And then they soon realize their mistake and they get like an A plus on their health review, which doesn't make any sense. They tried to kill him, but they still got a good mark on the restaurant. It was just such a weird episode. I remember seeing this as a kid and I remember the gross Krabby Patty really freaking me out. It just looks like it's diseased or something. All right, next we have the Powerpuff Girls. There was an episode called Twisted Sister. In this episode, the girls start to feel overwhelmed by school and chores and constantly saving the day. So they decide to create a fourth Powerpuff Girl to help share the load. But instead of following the professor's original formula, the girls use artificial sweetener, dirt, and things like crayons and lizards, and just like 
random things around the house to make this fourth Powerpuff Girl. And of course they also use the secret ingredient, Chemical X. They succeed in creating a girl who they name Bunny, but she's gigantic, misshapen, and not very bright. But the girls still send her off to fight crime for them while they relax at home, so, that, so they let her do all of the dirty work. But unfortunately, Bunny mixes things up and she throws the police officers in jail while letting the criminals run free. So when her sisters arrive on the scene and see that she's messed everything up, they angrily tell Bunny that she's a bad girl and can't be a Powerpuff Girl anymore. So the heartbroken Bunny flies away to sob her heart out on a lonely cliffside, but then she returns when she hears the girls crying for help while they're fighting crime, so she saves the day. And after she defeats the bad guys, she's so happy because she finally became good. But unfortunately, this effort was too much for Bunny's unstable body, and she literally explodes, and a piece of her dress just sort of flutters to the ground. And the girls cry because they realize how horrible they were to her, and they'll never ever see her again. So it was a pretty dark episode. Then there was an episode of Tom and Jerry, and this was called Blue Cat Blues. So Tom falls in love with a beautiful white cat, but although she returns his affections at first, she eventually leaves Tom for a rich neighborhood cat named Butch. So Jerry tells Tom to just move on with his life, but Tom just can't let go of his love and he tries to win her back. He showers her with expensive gifts, but Butch always one-ups him with an even more impressive display of wealth. So in a last ditch effort to win her back, Tom literally sells himself into slavery to buy her a car which promptly gets destroyed by Butch. So heartbroken and hopeless in debt, he drowns his sorrows and Jerry despairs of how to save his friend. And then Tom sees his former girlfriend and Butch drive by with a just married sign on the back of their car. So he decides to give up on life and sits in the middle of the train tracks. Jerry consoles himself that at least his girlfriend wouldn't do that to him. And just then Jerry sees his own girlfriend drive by with a different mouse and a just married sign. So realizing that life now holds nothing for him either, Jerry joins Tom on the track. And then the screen fades to black as a train approaches them. And that's a kid's show. Oh, so yeah, those are the episodes that I'm covering today. If you guys want me to make a part two, give this video a thumbs up and let me know because there are so many dark episodes of kids shows that I could talk about. I have before in the past and there's still more that I can cover. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget if you would like a Valentine's Day mystery box, I have linked it down below. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!